Broadcasting Live, 2K Sports presents the NBA. It's Monday night. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and a pair of Hall of Famers with us, Doris Burke and David Aldridge. It's the Chicago Bulls taking on the Boston Celtics. And so off the tip, it's Boston. Now let's take a look at the Bulls opening lineup. We've got Gervin. Macy is out there with Jordan. Then there's Charles Oakley. And it's Green in at the power forward. And it's good for two. And I'll bet that's what they talked about before the game. Getting the ball inside early. Shots good by Oakley. And like that aggressiveness from Oakley inside. He won't be denied. Outstanding at overpowering the defense. Now here is Ames. Here's Parrish, the chief attacking the basket. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sight. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. That's tipped. Gervin with the steal. There's the triple. He can't get it to go. And it's Boston the other way. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. I spoke to the Celtics head coach a little bit ago. He said we've been playing some of our best offense of late. Not many mistakes. Guys are spacing the floor, setting solid screens, moving the ball. You really can't ask much more from them on that end. Kevin obviously wants that to continue tonight. David, thank you. Sounds like shooting is what he's concerned with most early on. Yeah, they're looking for a controlled, patient offense today. And the key to that will be shot selection. Well, I think that means they need everyone being decisive out there. Make strong, quick decisions at the offensive end. Here's Ainge following the basket by Michael Jordan. And Kevin McHale, the bucket on the assist by Ainge. McHale's got his first points in this one. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Macy against Johnson. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Brinks to Gervin. Shoots over Bird. Here's Green. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And Boston called for the foul. Bulls shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. That free throw, no good. Probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. No luck that time either. Here's Wedman. And so the first quarter is in the books. Celtics lead by four. And the second quarter. again for tuning in if you're just joining us we've played through one quarter of action so far and what do you guys think about Boston here in this one uh, listen early on taking the league I just like their approach offensively I think their play calling has been exceptional they played with purpose and they played with aggressiveness on the court right now second quarter for the Bulls they've got John Baxson Green is out there with Higgins, and it's Michael Jordan, and it's Corzine in at the five, down low. Bird outside. From the inbound, and that comes off the assist by Bill Walton. Bird's got the opening field goal of the second quarter for Boston. Chicago with the ball. Six-point game. Here's Jordan. And the shot goes down. And what you like there, Jordan never looks like he's rushing. Makes quick, solid decisions. The Celtics shooting their first free throws of the night. Two shots. First one falls for him. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And, and what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. 
That shot no good. And the Celtics going the other way now. Three pointer, Bird. It's rebounded by Paxson. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Higgins passes to Paxson. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. Celtics leading by six. And pushing it up, here's Boston. Wasted no time on that one. 46 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Here's Jordan. Hands with the ball out of bounds. Jordan touched it last. Vincent's checked in for Boston. Then for the Bulls. Oakley, he's checked in for Green. Gervin comes in for Higgins. And it's Macy in for John Paxson. And we're now about a minute and a half into the second quarter. Tries to hit him. It's deflected. In transition, here come the Bulls. That one's in there. The Boston lead is cut down now to just six and the basket from Jordan. And the perils of trying to defend Jordan. Athletic enough to get anywhere he wants to go and then tough enough to take the hit and finish. The Celtics have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. The first one falls. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Here's Jordan. He's got six. Great D that time from Walton. One second left. No good on the shot. And so it's Boston in the driver's seat. Up eight points. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Boston found themselves in a close game in the first. They did jump out to a lead in the opening period, but four points was the biggest it got. Taking a look at the Celtics, and Shaq, what are your thoughts on Boston? You gotta like their offense efficiency. They were patient, took good shots. And that's... We hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. Without question, Larry Bird displaying his skills today. <laughs> and night after night, man, it just becomes common to watch him rip through teams, and that's exactly what we saw there in the first half. You know, Greg, I think the thing you admire is the incredible level of consistency. This guy is a fantastic player, but he also puts in a ton of energy. Absolutely tremendous. They've got aim. Kevin McHale out there with Parrish. Then there's Johnson, and it's Bird in at the threesome. That's the Boston Five. And the defining trait of the greatest of superstars, Jordan makes the players around him better, mentally, in terms of effort, and in terms of their performance. Second free throw, no good. Austin leading by seven. Down low. Bird nails it and will go to the line for a chance at one more. Well, this is a guy who understands his role in their offense, right? And they know exactly how to use him. For Boston, they have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. Yeah, and in every generation or so, a player comes along who can... Ooh. <laughs> oh, my God. That's how you attack. Wow. How do he do that? <laughs> Oh, my goodness. The, the creativity, the athleticism of Michael Jordan. And that was an Unleashed Chaos replay, courtesy of Under Armour, wreaking havoc at the rim. Boy, that's a quality shot. You're in the painted area. Don't get much more of a better look than that. The drive by Green, and the shot goes in. We've got 108 left here in the third quarter. Johnson outside. He kicks it to Bird. Back to Johnson. Six to shoot. And good that time. Johnson's got the lead back up to 10 now for Boston. 
makes up for a lack of speed with just tremendous effort and hustle on that play. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. Yeah, you, you can sense he wasn't happy with how things are going here. Probably looking to change it up a bit. Yeah, no, not at all. It's a good call, Greg. They need a fresh new approach here. So for the Bulls, Dave Porzine. He's checked in for Green. Higgins comes in for Michael Jordan. And it's Paxson in for Kyle Mason. Paxson kicks it over to Corzine. And he converts the layup. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. 41 seconds left in the third quarter. The Celtics have been on target from the free throw line. They're 5 of 5 in that department. First free throw is good. And Ainge, just one of those guys that likes to annoy an, an energetic scorer who can shoot a high percentage from the field. Bulls trail by 10. It's Gervin on the wing. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Fades and shoots. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Here's Johnson, and there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And there's the call. Chicago the foul. And you know, for a guy who sat on the bench his senior year of high school and was barely noticed by college recruiters, boy, DJ's proved a lot of people wrong. So Johnson hits two of them. Now the Bulls with it, down by 12. Passes it to Higgins. To the inside. Here's Oakley, and he gets the whistle for the three-second call. And becoming impatient, that's not how you're going to catch up. Really, that's unacceptable. Patience is paramount when you're trying to cut the lead, and they didn't have it there. Here's Johnson, and it's off the back rim. No good. And so it's Boston, enjoying a 12-point lead as they talk things over during the break. They've had such great ball movement and shot selection, and it's led to a terrific field goal percentage. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. Just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? We call that, Greg, putting it right in the pocket. And he knew what to do with it once it was there. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter. But stranger things have happened. Okay, now let's reset our lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go for this fourth quarter. So for Chicago right now, Irvin out there with Paxson. Then it's Corzine, then it's Higgins, and it's Oakley in a power four. Inside, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. It goes on Kevin McHale. I mean, Oak is as strong as an ox. Has that intimidating nature about him on both ends. Someone you just do not want to mess with. Chicago making a switch here. Jordan's checked in. Listen, it's only one miss, but it hurts all the same as they try to cut into this lead. Now here's Johnson. Kicks to Walton. Up again. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Just terrific determination. First, compiling the lead and now building on it. Yeah, Greg, I think it's very difficult coming back in this instance. They have owned this game. Don't see them coughing up this lead. Paxson against Johnson. So for the Bulls. Green, he's checked in for Oakland. Kyle Macy subbed in for John Paxson. They swipe it. Here's Corzine. Comes up empty down low. They can take their time on this possession. It wouldn't be a bad idea to just give themselves a little bit of a break. And that's the dagger right there. Really the nail in the car. I think it might have a few nails already in it. But you're right. This game is all but official at this point. To the middle. And stolen by Jordan. In transition, here come the Bulls. That shot missing. Excellent D there by Johnson. Ainge dishes to Johnson. 
16 feet away. They get it back. Second chance shot, and McHale finishes inside. Indicative of what we've seen tonight. One team being the aggressor, the other failing to react. Right, really a disappointing effort on the defensive end. Not offering any challenge at all at the cup. And so the Celtics now can just hold on to the ball. That free throw, no good. Good on the second free throw. Ball's knocked loose. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. They got very fortunate there, guys. They should just take their time on offense and not try to force things. Higgins passes to Corzine. Plays it up and banks it in. And that tells the tale here today, guys. Throughout this game, they've been able to get the ball in tight and finish. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in.